Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's the witch is on on the random Hogwarts expansion set, or just Hogwarts, whatever, from 2011, of course. So on the front of the box, the booklet here have the two logos, the interesting red border from the time, and picture of the set with everything there is, and set number 4867, of course. And then on the back, how to win on the online survey. Add of Lego Club. Add for some Lego C sets from the time. And add for the years 5 through 7 game. And add for some of the other sets from the time, of course. And also the board game set as well. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then a little picture showing the feature of it, or features of it, and last steps. So first off, on to the mini things included with this one. As we look left to right, hang on. So, first off, we get uh, Harry Potter, same version as in most other sets, and then also Lucius Malfoy, same as in the Green Dobby set, which also include the black hood piece because, so, well, same face print and all, but yeah. And then we get. Uh, Exclusive version of Neville Longbottom with the odd sweat sweater and whatnot, and good face print there. And then Gregory Goyle, who we haven't seen in sets at this point, but would be at least nice to get as well. And also get uh, Remus Lupus, or Remus Lupin, of course, which kind of similar to the 2004 uh, Prisoner of Azkaban version of which, but same, but same hair piece and also, some good updates here and there, of course. And the next of which is probably first time of having uh, Professor Sprout here. here which with the, like, uh, jagged slope dress, obviously. And at least until with the newer versions that came in uh, a, like, in one of the Hogwarts Moment sets. It's recently, obviously. But also, good uh, prints all around, and of course. But not at all any hair hat combo piece, just regular witch hat, of course. But at least the recent versions kind of fixed that, of course. And last of which is a Dementor. Of which, not as much good as the uh, most recent 2018 present version, but as you can see, uh, the Baldroid arms and skeleton torso and lower bottom part, of which unique to it. And at least the this rogue piece does look quite good to him. But but besides that, quite the same as from the 2004 versions as well. And if we, oh whoops, look on the backs of each of them, you see some good back torso printing, and also a few of which do have some double side faces, especially. And of course, Lucius, also the same as from in the Free and Dobby set. And Level Long Bombs ones, kind of similar to his most other appearances, and also good back torso print to him. Uh, nothing for Remus Lupin. see good selection of figs like do get two that are somewhat repeats from other sets but at least a lot of exclusives to them like return from other sets and of course all new for Professor Sprout of course and yeah and now on to the actual set itself but 
here it is which, as you can see, got quite good for 2011 standards, of course. And like I said, as for these. And also, a little neat thing is, there is a bit of modulability to it. Like if I uh, pull this tower a bit out like so, which, as you can see, is connected with two pins, pinholes right there into that as well. Same with the other tower as well. Oops. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, so on to this main platform section, which which is kind of like an first entrance to it, like get a pair of small towers, which with the single cones that are in sand green, still carried on from the uh, Sorcerer's Stone Chamber Secrets waves, of course, and whereas for the middle section, which is quite hollow and vacant, but although I think that some blue pieces could have been included there to represent a flow of water, of course, And if you look from the back side of which, you see this little, little uh, cylinder piece here, and there's a reason why that is, which I'll show in a second. But basically, the main feature is if you put a thing onto here and just explodes it right off, which I see as the three Bonical Borok eyepieces in orange, which good use there, which is probably to represent uh, Harry's. Or Harry's spell from his wand, of course, which he uses to destroy Voldemort in Deathly Hallows Part 2, which is probably based upon. Yeah. And on to this one tower, which, as you can see, is some quite good build to it. Like, do you get those common castle corner pieces and bottom part, a lot of gray jagged slopes, of course, to be like. The like rocky part that Hogwarts rests on, and also do you get one of the older canopy tower pieces, but still in sand green like the earlier sets, obviously. And also that one part is smaller, shorter than the other, but the other is like the opposite, which we'll see in a minute. And uh, as you can see, there's a pair of pinholes there to attach it on which side you want on the main platform of course. And if you look on the inside of which, then you see a little bedding area or a pair of bunk beds for that that are decked out for Gryffindor, of course. And although I think the, the like curb slope could have worked out for a pillow than that, obviously. But yeah. And this lower part of which has a single green snake piece there. And this top part of which does have a little globe or something, and which kind of made it the common dome pieces like we've seen with uh, Sandy Cheeks in the Spongebob line, of course, and then yeah. And on the top part of which do have this little crystal ball piece, which has a clear blue diamond piece in it, kind of neat, and also a pair of uh, coffee mugs in both yellow and red, also representing Gryffindor, of course. And then also good build on this part of it with the cone pieces and also the railing pieces, obviously. And yeah. And now on to the other tower, which, which as you see, same kind of thing as the other, but opposite to that. And the rest of which kind of the same build to it, but except for this middle part, of which with a couple more of those, those uh, corner pieces, obviously, and also the single like jail cell bar piece representing a balcony kind of thing, but yeah. And also, good build right there, of course, and if you look on the inside of which, then you see a couple of, like, long brick pieces with a pair of sticker, or, or sticker uh, portraits on them, of course, and also, you get this little 
tile or sticker tile piece with a bit of some odd equations written on it and in the course of turning chair and also a desk with a skull and a couple of potions there obviously and on the top part of which oh it's probably representing like the which I my good guess is probably the storage part of Hogwarts or just some random part of it it and is supposed to represent a mirror of some kind and but at least not like the one in Sorcerer's Stone, of course. So, yeah. First, but, or it could be whatever, but yeah. So, and so now how you attach these two together, which, or if you have the like big large uh, Hogwarts Castle set, a third version or fourth version from this time where you can attach it and expand upon that of course and uh, yeah and of course kind of simple to attach these two together like those into there and yeah this whereas for the like the smaller sets to connect in like in Sorcerer's Stone Waves, of course, which I think also could have been around for here, but maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a uh, pretty good set for 2011, of course. Like, do you get a quite good selection of, of figs, like a few exclusive and all, but also a good little sampling of Hogwarts and, of course, the exploding platform kind of representing the big final duel of Deathly Hallows, of course. And also, would have been nice that there was a second Dementor in here as well, but yeah. But besides that, at least this does work out as a good display piece and also works well with like any Hogwarts display regardless of like 2018 or present or whatever but yeah and so now if you still have this set from back in the day well I hope you had some good memories of it and for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set I'd say truly get it and if you want to expand your 2011 or 10 Hogwarts set to, to as well also truly get it ebay brick link whatever and that is it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching